Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to RimWorld. When we last left off, Randomness had a series of mental breaks that ultimately resulted in her untimely demise. But, as compensation, storyteller Randy Random sent us two new people. In fact, it's possible that Randomness was in fact the avatar for Randy Random, and wanted to die in order to, I guess, go up to the big... Storyteller heaven in the sky or something like that. Yes. We are spending a lot of long pork on on this stuff. Which does mildly concern me just a little bit. But I do want to train the animals. Right. Okay, so we are working on smoothing out the floors here so we can start moving people indoors so that people are hopefully a bit less upset about life. Uh, who's our top researcher? Matt. So I'm going to tell Matt to maybe prioritize some of the stuff just a little bit less. So that hopefully we can get some more research done. Actually, hang on a sec. Who else is our good researcher? Let's see, you're a free. You're also a free. Alright. Hmm. Yeah. I do want to try getting some more research done. Only a 20% chance to tame. We're spending so much... Well, at least, uh... Random is... But the the biggest problem of that is that Random was our doctor. So, the doctor going crazy is usually not a good sign. Fortunately, fortunately, we have some backup doctors. So, I guess that's a good sign. We're also a bit low on medicine. Which is not good. The eclipse is ending, so the sun should come back. We're also growing some trees, which is good. Did you finish smoothing the floor? Oh, you did. Good. Uh, let's haul all this stuff out of here. And let's start building beds. Double beds for everyone. Because you never know. People may... And eventually, possibly royal beds for everyone. But for now, wooden wooden beds for everyone. That'll be nice and classy. And I'll put them in the middle... No, no, we won't do that. I can put them here. Though apparently, because of the way colonists, like perceive room, unless this has been changed, is based on, like, the number of open squares around them? Or is it based on what they can see? I forget exactly, but I remember, like, part of the calculation, like, the way it works is, like, if you're in a corner, the colonist is basically, like, unaware of space around them or something. Like, they're they're not aware of the space, all, like, all the open space here. So if you put them in the corner, they're only noticing that all these, like, squares next to them are a wall, and then they get kind of confused, and they're like, oh no, I'm trapped, the walls are closing in, or something like that. Something like that. And, yeah. A little weird, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, good. So, one, two, three, four, five, and then six. Alright. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. We're low on food again. With that in mind, maybe I should, wait. No, we're, we're training all... Hmm. Uh... I don't know. You know, I'll turn off release, and... You know, I'll just stop training for now. Once we're, once we have, like, a, a glutton of food, then that'll be good. I will, uh, I will teach, uh, basic obedience to these two, though. And actually looking at this again, yeah. Anyone who can possibly hunt for meat on their own is unrestricted. The alpacas are restricted to grazing. And I might eventually want to, like, actually... I don't know, maybe... I don't know, this is, like, horrible stone land. I might want to maybe, like, box off this and make it into, like, some kind of enclosure. So that, uh... I don't have to worry about these guys eventually eating these guys. A raid! A group of pirates from the Poison lineup. This one naked guy with his club, huh? Oh, well, he has pants on. All right. Holy crap, he's good at researching. And he's pretty good with animals, too. Interesting. Very interesting. He's an Asperger's rebel. What does that mean? Formerly advanced Rimworld, devastated by war. His Asperger's syndrome meant he struggled with social situations and was incapable of caring. 
but he learned hard skills like research and shooting very quickly. Interesting. And then he became a government agent. Worked for the government against rebel groups. So he was a rebel, but then he turned and joined the government. What? What? Uh, also, why would why would this disable cleaning? Come on. Also, wait, what are your traits again? Cannibal and psychopath. Well, that's that does fit the theme we're going for here. However, what is this? A cougar. Nice. I'm sure we'll be fine. I mean, he's just one guy off a club, and he's going to have to come in this way, so we probably have nothing to worry about. And one guy off a club. Like, seriously. <laughs> one guy with a club. I am not worried about this situation at all. Not at all. Not even a little bit. Who's our stone cutter, by the way? Uh, Yosef is our stone cutter. Okay. So maybe I should bump some of these things back a little bit. Actually, we have no particularly good plant cutters, so... Yeah. But Matt, I, I want to try... F what are you doing? Are you injured? Oh, you have a bruise. Yeah, you'll be fine. Oh! Oh, you just kind of showed up, did you? Alright. I didn't even know you were here. And apparently we're all just ignoring you because we don't really care. Alright. Works for me. Alright, let's get this fight on the road. And it's gonna be like four of us against one of him, so... He's pretty much boned. He has no- there we go. You know what, we're not gonna rescue him. We're just gonna let him die and then we'll eat him. No one rescue him! Just leave him there. Yes. This is how it shall be. Actually, I suppose I could just have someone finish him off, but... Eh. What is Matt doing again? He's resting. Alright, that's okay. Oh, it's just bruises, you'll be fine. Alright, you're still in a bit of a bad mood, so that's not good for you. Yeah, we'll just let him bleed out over here. He'll be fine. I mean, he's alive, so it'll keep him nice and fresh until we're ready to eat him. At least that's the just... Uh, a violent... M why, why are you so mad, Einstein? Uh, let's see here. Needs. Hideous... Why is everyone so upset about the hideous... And it's not even that cramped. Look how much space is around you. But see, because there's all these nearby... An eight without a table. Slept outside, slept on the ground. Yeah, 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 you guys. Someone built... Who's our best builder? Let's see here. Five, three, five, four, nine. Okay, Zulver. Where is Zulver? I want you... I mean, need materials. You don't have wood? Oh. All right, understandably, that might be a bit of a problem. Um, but there's plenty of wood over here. So chop all the wood, someone. Yeah. There's more agave over here as well. Because we are still critically low on food. Do I want to hunt the Mega Furium? Looks like it would probably give us a lot of meat and fur. However, it might be a better idea to hunt some of the little animals down here. There's also elephants. Oh, it would be awesome to have four elephants. But our food situation is not good enough yet that I would feel comfortable with that situation. So we'll just mark all those for death and continue on with our lives. Yep. Well, we also have all these berries that are just lying around here. Could someone haul those in? Maybe, please. Oh my god, we have stuff that's just rotting. Oh, gross. Yeah, we, ha we have a serious problem with food here. What is Matt even doing? Matt, you're a researcher, man. What are you doing? You're playing horseshoes. I wish I could prioritize research. But no. Alright, so turn off hauling and cleaning. I want you to get the bloody research done. Ah. And 
it really upsets me that apparently, like, we just have stuff that just rot it because our butcher... Actually, you know what? We probably need a second person to be cooking. Just for butchering, though. Let's see. Uh, no. Details, that's what I meant. Uh, skill level to actually cook must be at least seven. Because Yosef is at least a seven on cooking, right? What is your cooking? Yeah, it's a seven. Good. All right, so that'll, that'll allow Einstein to work on the butchering, and Yosef can focus on the cooking. All right. It all works out. Yeah. We're still in a pretty rough spot. Can't wait until he dies so we get some fresh meat. That'll be good. Oh, good. We're actually working on making this now. We have no wood, though. But we are working on chopping it. I hope. This is pretty rough. But it's gonna be fine. Everything is gonna be fine. Probably. Hopefully. Maybe. And once we get people houses, and once we have electricity so we can heat and cool things, I am reasonably confident. Oh, and good! Matt is actually finally getting research done. Thank the gods. Oh boy. Take a while, but it should be okay. Oh yeah, there's a mod that allows you to eventually upgrade to husk. Why are all these animals joining the colony? Why is there a dead emu just lying around here? These are my questions. Like, do we have hunters who are hunting but then not hauling the stuff back? Because that kind of sucks. You know what? Next time traders show up, we might want to try trading some of these animals. All right. Yeah. Because I don't think we can afford to feed them all. But we'll want to keep a breeding pair so that we can breed more to sell them. I hope. I mean, uh, where's the female? I mean, when we started this campaign, they immediately started going at it. So surely... Oh my god, they don't have any food. Have they just, like, eaten all the food? Alright, I'll unrestrict everyone just so that they can hopefully, you know, not die. I'd be sad if that happened. I don't want them dying. Yeah, as far as I can tell, our female is not pregnant. Which makes me kind of sad. Oh, when I was just rapidly plant or, or cutting all the plants, I think... That, plus, I, I guess I don't mind, because we seem to be leaving a lot of food just lying around here, so if, if they eat some of the crops, it won't be that bad. It's also 17 degrees Celsius outside, which is pretty hot. I mean... How are you not dead yet? Uh, oh, he, well, he's on the edge of having a mental break, and... Or is that... Wait, which one's morale and which one's health? This is health, that's morale. Okay. Good. I want to do something about the rotting corpses, please. That would be good. Also, I should probably get a bit of a wall going here. There we are. Alright. Good, we're getting beds going. All right. So I'm just going to randomly deconstruct two of them. All right. So that's a couple people who don't need to worry about beds anymore. I might double bunk people. Probably not, though. Uh, let's get some wooden doors going. I could give everyone jade doors, but jade is valuable, and I would rather save that for, you know, useful stuff. We've also got a lot of metal lying around here, which is good. I mean, the more steel we have, the more steel traps we can build later. And steel traps are always useful. The only reason I'm not hunting this is because I'm kind of scared that it might actually be dangerous. I mean, it's big. What is its uh, life expectancy? 20 years. So it's only about middle age. Which is mildly scary, I'll be honest with you. Due to the fact that it's still basically in its prime means that it could do some serious damage if it wanted to. Ooh, a marble wall and marble floors. Nice. All right. I mean, yeah, growth rate 100%. The plus side to this biome is that it's basically food will always be something we can grow. However, it's also very warm, so heat stroke is going to be something we're going to have to worry about. I mean, it'd be even worse if we were... Actually, the funny thing is, 
on this particular uh, map, which by the way, the, uh, the seed I used was Gaslight because I'm ever so clever and possibly narcissistic and decided to go with that. And the area I'm in, which was a mountainous, arid shrubland, actually seemed to be hotter than the, ex the nearby extreme desert biome, which seemed kind of weird to me, at least if I'm remembering the map generation correctly. Which I could be making a mistake on. I'm also kind of scared about the lightning, because that is going to mean fires, but then again, it's also raining, so those fires will put themselves out. Like, uh, when we are... Yeah, like, they must be hauling bodies back, right? Yeah, we're hunting. I should pay attention when our guys go hunting. Wait, did you maybe get a little close? Visitors! Well. Well, well. I think I'm gonna trade with them, to be honest. Uh, let's see. What do you, what do you carry? I don't want to make everyone hate me. I mean, you do have a reasonable amount of food. Sinfred tribal wear. Where the heck did you get access to Sinfred from to make something like that? Why are there so many rotting animal corpses lying around? I hope those are things that just died of natural causes. Oh yeah, did Johnny finish hunting? No, he's still here. Hey, Johnny, you're, you're never going to get anywhere if you keep shooting them like that. There you go. Get a little closer. In a raid! Okay, there's two of them this time. And they have guns. And they're wearing... And they're completely clothed. All right. Love of all this good. <laughs> Why are you so terrible at shooting, my friend? You're a level ten. I feel like you should be better. Hmm. Well, fortunately, we have visitors and we have some animals, which may or may not prove helpful. We have a couple people who have beds that they can actually sleep in, which is good. Oh, and here come the raiders. Okay. I really gotta be paying more attention to that. Where are the friends? The friends are over here. Or the friendlies. Alright. Recruit everyone. They have guns, so we gotta be careful about this. Okay. Go here. And go here. Okay. Slow down time. Wait for them to come as close as possible before we engage. Where are you going? Okay. Oh, are they gonna fight each other? Who are you shooting? You're shooting at our alpaca, you bastard! Alright, everyone melee attack- everyone run over to melee attack Caffy. Caffy. Why can't I- Alright. Melee attack Caffy. Caffy. Alright, let's do this. Alright, basically, we're going to be crazy people, and we're just going to run up and melee these guys to death. Hopefully. Of course, they're going to... Are you going to attack? Are you attacking? Come on, get him. Yes, kill them! Kill them all! Yes, Humphrey is attacking! Good job, Humphrey. There we go. Kill them all! Quick! Oh, right. Um... I don't trust you to not hit them. Try to arrest Matt. Oh, who am I clicking on here? Did you give up? There we go. We have guns now. The tribe is ten times as dead. Wait, all the animals just joined in on the attack. Nice. All right, let's uh, unrecruit everyone. Is there anyone still recruited? No. Okay, good. Everyone get back to work. And Mohican is going to finish, uh, healing, perhaps? Oh well. We've got plenty of long pork now. And a fine meal. Oh, are you still recruited? You are still recruited. Okay, everyone is non-recruited anymore. I think everyone's just bruised, so they should be okay. Yes, eat the meals. Ah, that was good. Very, very good indeed. Uh, who's our best, uh, socializer again? That would be Einstein. So if I can wake you up from your sleep for a moment to do some trading. Let's, uh... Oh, there's three of them. They did nothing to help. Alright, let's, uh... 
sell the extra weapons. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, maybe we'll buy some medicine. They have one medicine to sell. Uh, we will not sell them our delicious long pork. Right, we'll buy some chicken meat. I guess. I'm not going to sell a superior bow. Actually, you know what? I am. Might not be the best idea, but I am. I, I kind of want the money, because you never know. And just a bit of chicken meat. All right, good. So we did a little bit of trading. Uh, Yosef can get to... Well, after playing horseshoes, we'll hopefully continue cooking meals. I'll lower that to 25. Actually, you know what? I am going to make you prioritize cooking. All right, good. We apparently need more wood again, because we are out of wood. We're always out of wood. Uh, Gecko, what are you doing? You're removing a floor? No, you're going to chop down these trees, please. But you are already at the trees. Did Johnny ever actually hunt that uh, gazelle? By the looks of it, maybe. All right. Overall, are you actually any good at anything? Let's see. Did Agent die yet? Yes, Agent is dead. We just need to butcher him. Right. And overall, we've got a reasonable thing going here. Uh, let's see. You are a, you are a doctor, but you're not very good at doctor or at doctorizing. I see. Chemical fascination and a psychopath, but you're not a cannibal. So, I can't invite you to the tribe. I'm sorry. Don't eat our food. Who's in a poor mood? You'll be fine. You've got a bed now, see? Why is everyone... Why are the guests coming into our room? Like, that's a bedroom. That's not your bedroom. That's our bedroom. Oh, we've got another uh, room here. Let's uh, smooth the floor in here. Good. Alright, and... Also in here. We have a lot of work to do before this this colony is in a suitable state for Could someone haul these corpses away? Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna need some kind of rotting pile, I guess. For when stuff rots away. Alright, yeah. This'll be our this'll be our rotting our corp rotting corpse pile. Corpses, no weapons, just allow rotting. And this will be maximum priority. Get all the rotting stuff out of my kitchen. All right, good. So overall, I would say things are going pretty good. I'm kind of sad we weren't able to trade some of the animals because we have so many animals now, which are going to require so much food. <laughs> and they're dogs. I don't want to slaughter them. I'd rather sell them into, you know, friendly new families. And someone get to butcherizing. What are you doing? Trying to improve relationship. Okay. It worked. Oh, and now you're going to butcher. Excellent. Beautiful. We have just all these clothes lying around here. Beautiful, really. Alright. Overall, I am satisfied with how things are going. They could be better, but they could also be a lot worse, so... Yeah. And we, I mean, we've only lost one person. Uh, we, we are running out of food. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Eventually. Probably. Maybe. And we do have a bunch of silver lying around, so that's good. Yeah, we're getting research done. That's the key thing. We need to get electricity made. Because once we have electricity, we'll be set. I think. Actually, is there another research for actual... There was an air conditioning thing. Yeah, air conditioning, right here. That's going to be our next priority. Ooh. Anyway, yes. Overall, I'm sure they'll be fine. So I think these visitors are eating some of our food, which is not good. Not good for- oh, and they're leaving. Good. But, wait, their stay was just as expected, so they didn't get a plus or a minus, I guess? That's unfortunate. Oh well, you don't always get bonuses. But anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode, so for the time being, thank you all for watching, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video.